Hey guys, here we have comics here. We're well, gonna talk about something a bit more serious, so, so you don't see me wearing my headphones or anything. But I just want to talk about this stuff. It's kind of important to me. Yeah. So as they said, today, November the sixth, two thousand eighteen. Hmm. Okay, I can figure it out. What do you want? Do you want out? Do it. Go on, you want to? Okay. Uh, I just voted, and I don't tell you who I voted for. That's not the good thing about me voting. But here's the deal. Um, I uh, this yeah, voting. Uh, thinking about voting makes you one think about individual thing, individuality, because a vote is your own personal voice, your own personal, you know, basically what you choose to do, you know. They can give you all, make all the commercials in the world, and they can, they can say all kinds of things they want to say, but these politicians, everybody can say what they want to say, but at the end, it's up to you to decide, you know, what do I do? So, all this stuff about uh, individual choice and whatnot makes me... Look at she goes. Makes me hmm, uh, think about other individual things. Because I was thinking about this stuff for a long time. Individuality and identity have been some huge issues. This, you know, for basically very recently, this is this whole transgender thing, or a bunch of different things like that. Homosexuality, transgender issues, stuff like that. You know, and there's been three basically three ways you can identify. You know, they're talking about three ways things. Identification is interesting right now. That is the first one is of course the transgender issues. You know, uh, but also race and. Uh, size, you know, basically, size, look, different other things like that. It's very interesting, very crazy, because here's, here's the deal. You have, yeah, if you were to look at me physically, excuse me, in there. if you were to look at me, if you were to just judge me by what I look like, it would basically be, read like a police report. Uh, adult black male, um, short hair, 230, 240 pounds, no visible tattoos, <laughs> you know, no piercings, or, no visible piercings or tattoos. There are no tattoo, piercings or tattoos, you know. Uh, basically, that's how it goes. Mainly because, well, it is boring. Because basically, there are bunches, hundreds, thousands of black, you know, of uh, adult black men, you know, short hair, black, adult black men out there, you know. And that's the issue. I do not like. It's not the best way to uh, to look at me because basically, um, yeah, that's 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 it's it's on one hand it means that you are looking at someone just for their surface. On the other hand, of course, their surface is part of a person's identity. You know, that's an issue. But here's the deal. Yeah, basically, you know, every now and then someone will yell something stupid at me. But I'm like, yeah, you know, you're only looking at me for my surface. That's uh, kind of sad of you. I feel sorry for you, man. <laughs> you know, for, you know, and I'm like, yeah, it's just really sad. But then, of course, I do better than them. I look below their surface. I'm thinking, okay, what's wrong? What's going on? One guy was uh, an older guy, and the way he sounded, mm, sounded like he was having some dental issues. And I'm like, God, that will make you grumpy. <laughs> He's driving his car, trying to get, you know, basically, he, he has, well, there's like, there's a lane. <laughs> okay. There's a street we, we we live nearby, where we have to. There's like the, the there'll be a turning lane, and there'll be a uh, the the uh, walk signal, and you have to basically get to that walk signal as quick as possible. Get through there before it goes away, because of course people will want to turn. People will always want to turn <laughs> on this this street. And so one day, me and a few other people, you know, who I didn't know, but we were all at the, the intersection together. We wait till the light is red, you know, which is something that people don't do nowadays, very much nowadays, around here anyway. We wait till the light is red, and then we walk. We basically run. We run. We don't walk. We run, you know, as a group to get across. There's this old pickup truck or something that's trying to turn, 
and I get I get past there, and then I hear that voice with the guy with like this this older guy looks like he has some gauze in his mouth or something. I'm going like, oh, it was my turn, you blankety blank. I'm like, mm. you know, at first I was angry, but I'm like, wait a minute, you know, I we we live in a senior the apartment, we're building with a lot of seniors in it. You know, and if anybody is having trouble with their teeth, oh, I've, I've actually had to deal with some trouble of pepper and tooth. Mm, Mona's signs for pepper and tooth. Mm, okay, Mona's signs over. Uh, basically, you're not in a good mood. <laughs> okay, you are definitely not in a good mood. It's near Thanksgiving. It was near Thanksgiving, too, so it's like uh, family issues, perhaps, as well. And he's just taking out on somebody, you know, basically like just judging them for the surface. Not the best way to judge somebody. You know, mm. It's obviously it's part of you know what part of what I is what I look like on the outside, you know. Well, yeah, that's not fun. That's how it goes, unfortunately. We gotta live with that. Uh of course gender itself. Yeah, I combined uh my race with my gender. <laughs> Physical gender. <laughs> there's, there's only two genders, uh, physically speaking, and that's the only ones I care about. <laughs> um and you got yourself something interesting there because basically, of course, uh, there's all kinds of stereotypes about mm, black men mm, and all kinds of stereotypes where, you know, and all kinds of things going on where you see, you know, you know, you know a bunch of black dudes just be acting fools and whatnot, uh, wearing their pants wrong. But yeah, there's the issue. I uh, don't ask, even though I look like someone else, mm, doesn't mean I have to act like someone else. Mm, that's the issue. This is something that a lot of people are dealing with right now. I don't, don't understand. See, I seem to having trouble understanding. Mm -hmm. Just because I look like I, am I, am I centered? Am I centered? Just because I look like someone else doesn't mean I have to act like someone else. Mm, you know, I can actually act the way I want to act. You know, do the things I like doing. Right? Let me show you something. Mm, right? Let me show you. There I go. Ah, dude. Mm. I'll show you these. Mm. I'll show you these guys right here. These are what I call bronze bros. Mm. Right? Yeah. Bronze bros are these uh, speakers. They're bronze looking. They're mm. called bronze bros. Mm. Great. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't make these mm. because I'm black. Mm. I didn't make these because I'm male. I made these because I wanted to. <laughs> no. uh. And also, I'm working with some other guys. So, guys, I recently found, uh, and, uh, where is it? Okay, guys, one. Where's the other one? Keep digging. Keep on digging. It's around here. I know what it is. Oh, there's a thing. Oh, wrong thing. I'm not looking for that thing yet. I know it's here. I know it's here. Right here. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm making different ones. Ugh. Bigger ones. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I got some bigger speakers recently and I'm making grills for them. Yeah. You know? Basically, yeah. I do this because I like doing it. Because I want to do it. And this is something that people have to work on figuring out. I have to work on, you know, understanding. Yes, you may look a certain way, but it doesn't mean you have to act like other people act. There will be people that say you do, but they're, they're wrong. Mm, they're wrong. Mm, yeah. And that's the issue. Mm, that's the big issue there. Because it's, it's like, yeah, I've seen all these documentaries, transgender documentaries with these kids in there. And I'm looking at this and I'm seeing it. Oh, yeah. More light would be nice. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up here. Give me some more light. There you go. Mm. And pause. Thank you. Yeah. And basically, one of the things I've seen is that, you know, it was like at least, you know, one girl, you know, who wants to be a boy because, uh, I don't know, she's afraid, apparently, I guess she's afraid of what it means to be a female, but you know, what she thinks it means to be female. I'm going to be careful. What she thinks it means to be female. She is like she was she's like eight or nine years old and and she was like going like i i, I haven't been able to sleep sometimes at night i'm like because of this i'm like what you know, it, it's puberty <laughs> yes there are some things especially with girls that do happen during puberty that are nasty but uh it happens to all fully functional females <laughs> you know uh, talk, here's 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 the, here's the stuff that's like part of the nat natural stuff nature mm -hmm. all right nature Okay, affects everything else on this planet, including us. <laughs> okay, including us. 
and certain things are, you know, basically we are flesh and blood, like all the all the animals, <laughs> you know, all the other all the animals in the world. We are flesh and blood, so there's certain things that will affect us in certain ways. There are certain things that will affect us in certain ways. You know, that will happen. Okay, all mammals, we are mammals. All mammals, when they reach a certain age, will go through puberty. Will actually go from being, you know, basically childlike or you know Im immature to maturing, mm -hmm. become adults. And yes, for the males that means one thing. For the females, it means another thing. But it's all um, that's one of those things that's basically you can say, is this male? Mm -hmm. You know, yes, it's okay. This is going to happen. He, this here, this here, this thing. You know, this is this female. Yes, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. You can just say that because that's how it works. That's science. That is proven science right there. They're trying to get some science saying, oh, maybe someone's brains are they are different. You know, like okay, well maybe, but they uh, yeah, this person has male reproductive organs, so they are male. <laughs> you know, the brains do not matter <laughs> with this. Uh, feelings do not matter with this. Uh, it's not about how you feel, it's about biology. <laughs> it's about biology here. You know, of you course know, people will counter saying, uh, uh, well, what if, you know, there's some sort of other thing going on? I'm like, yeah, well, here's the deal. Here's the big deal with all this stuff that I realized is going on. I'm sorry I realized what's happening. Uh, there are people, you know, okay, there, you know, yeah, there's a, there's a girl, okay, there was a one girl who wants to be a boy because she's afraid of what it means to be a girl, what she thinks it means to be a girl, and she, uh, basically was taken to the doctor, and apparently, here's the deal, not just her, you know, she's 19 years old, she, she's, you know, she's young, uh, that's one thing, but the parents themselves, you know, hear the examine after she's examined, you know, and they hear that she is starting puberty. Mm, you know, stuff's starting to happen, you know. And she's like, well, you gotta figure some way to stop these female hormones from raging through her body. I'm like, they're not raging. She's female. <laughs> you know, they're supposed to do that. <laughs> That's supposed to happen. What, what, where's the education here? <laughs> what? <laughs> How come you don't know that? <laughs> you know? That's the issue. She has ovaries. You know? She has a uterus. <laughs> She has uh, breasts, so she's, you know, she's going to grow breasts. That's what happens, so, you know. And then it's like with the with the man. There's a boy. There was a boy who was a bit older, around fifteen, sixteen years old, who basically what looks very fem effeminate, you know, very female, and you know, basically acts what he will like, what he believes is what girls act like, and so it was so convincing that the actual girls he was hanging out with didn't realize he was actually male until a certain event occurred where he and a bunch of them were changing in the same room for some sort of swimming thing or something. I'm like, you can't do that. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you can't do that. You know, in the comments, I said, you can't have, you can't do that. You cannot change with the girls. <laughs> you know, and someone actually asked me why in the comments. I'm like, because they, they will, the, the parents, other people will think he was ogling them, even if he wasn't, because he's male. <laughs> you know, there are certain stereotypes about with males and certain stereotypes with females that occur because or just because we're male or female, you know, it's just how it goes. And that's not cool, but that's how it goes, you know. But the issue is we have to prove some of those. There are certain stereotypes. We got to prove those stereotypes wrong. That's the issue. We don't actually. The way things are going is some people see those stereotypes and are like, I don't want to do that. Deal with that. And you're like, um, yeah, you're gonna have to. <laughs> the, the issue is there are always going to be people who hate on you. Mm. There are always going to be people who say the wrong, say negative things about you and say you're doing wrong when you're not. Mm. You know, it's just how it goes, unfortunately. You know, there was another girl who wants to be a boy uh, who was getting in fights at school and all kinds of other stuff. She's like 15, 16 years old herself. And, you know, the dad, the mom, yeah, this one, uh, I was, I'm getting, uh, I was definitely was dealing with as well. Was, was dealing with, was dealing with in the comments as well because uh, they were, the dad is Christian and he's saying uh, that he wants, he wants, he's basically trying to stop this whole thing from happening. You know, he's basically saying, no, oh, she, she wants to, yeah, she wants to, you know, get surgery. She wants to get a name change, all kind of stuff. And I'm like, uh, you know, you don't, she's like, he's like, you don't need that stuff. And he, she's getting ticked off at him and, and the commentators are getting talked off at him, ticked off at him because he's like, you know, not letting, doesn't want her to have. That stuff, and I'm like, okay, here's the deal. Um, she doesn't need that stuff, mm, you know. She's supposed to be female, she's just different than other females, <laughs> you know. That's how it goes. They don't like that, mm, you don't like that, you don't understand how that works. 
You know, but that's how it goes. And here's the big deal with all this stuff. You know, and then it's like, yeah, we, we, as Christians, we believe that God made us the way he wanted us made, you know. As long as I'm talking, uh, my opinion, as long as I'm talking any deformities at all, and I mean deformities, I don't mean, uh, yeah, you're, you're male, you know, you were born male and you want to be female, or you were born female and you want to be male, those aren't deformities, <laughs> you know, I'm talking, if you are, you are examined medically, and they're like, okay, everything works just fine, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, that's good, <laughs> that's totally fine, leave it alone, <laughs> you know. That's no, no. I think I, that's the way I'm one of us made um, with everything working just fine. Yeah. Also, it's like everything's working fine. You know, it's like well, yeah, you know, that's the issue. But when it's like, okay, something's wrong here. You know, as in seriously, actually, medically wrong. That's bad. I, I definitely well, you have to work with God. You know, work, figure things out. You know, I definitely, as a Christian, you know, pray to God to help out with stuff like that because that's ridiculous. You know, that's an attack of the enemy. We believe. So that's an issue. That's a different story. But here's the deal. When it comes to you know, all this stuff, here's what's going. I believe is happening. Uh, there's marketing involved. Mm, marketing. Now they oh, you say, well, marketing. What the heck are you talking about? Marketing. Oh my God. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, basically, the representation, the examples of people out there nowadays in commercials and stuff is not always the best. Mm. I have seen some crazy stuff. All right, and here's the deal. Here's the big deal with this. Here's how this stuff basically works. Now, I'm not exactly a professional of that 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 stuff that stuff at all. I don't know anything about it. But what I do know is that you know, certain, is certain basic things. And here's how it goes. First of all, you have uh, corporations, you know, businesses run by corporations who want to sell their product. Now, I have no problem with selling with some of the businesses wanting to sell their products. That's important so they can get their products sold. You know, things like that, product or service sold so they can get some cash and, you know, they hopefully, you know, be help out, help people out with stuff, you know, give a good product that's good or service. That's good. But when someone's like, okay, let's say, uh, oh, yeah, I gotta start, keep doing this too. Let's say they're doing something else, something like, uh, basically, um, they're, Advertising for some sort of a, a drink or something like that, you know, like like a, a, a sugary drink of some kind, a sugar, a, an energy drink or something, you know. Uh, so they would say, okay, we need the most beautiful people we can find, and usually those are models. So okay, meaning people who train, the, you know, for years to look a certain way, all right. And so they get these models, male and female models, and they have them get over there, and then they, they basically have them put them on a set. Now here's the deal: it's a set. <clears throat> it's not real life. It's a set. So they put them on a set. They put fake stuff with them, fake you know plants, fake you know animals. You know, no, not fake animals, but you know, all kinds of different other things. They put them all together. They put everything on there, and then they say, "Okay, you are supposed to be happy now." They have a director come in and be like, "Okay, you're supposed to be happy now." With our product, too, you know, it's an energy drink, you know, or whatever it is. With our product, so show those smiles, yay, you know, drink, you know, pretend to drink our product, <laughs> pretend to drink our product, pretend to look happy with using our product or whatever, yay, you know. And sometimes, of course, they'll get celebrities and all, all, who are already, you know, celebrities and do the other things. They'll get them going, doing all that stuff, and then it's like this. You know, after they finish getting that video, then they'll be like, okay, let's uh, run it through Photoshop. <clears throat> you know, okay, yeah, there's a blemish on that person's face. Mm, you know, that guy's face, you know, get rid of it. There's there's something on that girl's face, get rid of it. You know, to, uh, tighten up that stomach. You know, you know make a beef, you know, basically charge up, you know, make that chest bigger. You know, do this thing over here, do that over there, do this other stuff over there. You know, that's what they'll basically do. You know, they'll basically will make it CG, you know, computer generated. They will do whatever they need to do, you know. They will add different voices. They will do all kinds of other stuff, you know. They will just make this one of the fakest looking things. They make stuff, the most fakest looking stuff you ever saw, just to sell their product, okay, or service. And then it's like people see this and they think that's real life. And that's not good. And that's good. That's, that's one of the things about certain things that are basically like this, transgender issues and other things like that. Because it's just like, you see that and you're like, 
uh, you want that, but um, it's it's fake, guys. Mm, it's fake. <laughs> you know, there's fake stuff, but then there's real stuff, and real stuff is better than the fake stuff all the time. The real stuff, the fake stuff looks good, but the fake, the real stuff is always going to be better. But here's the big deal, you know. And then think of all kinds of other things. I remember a long time ago there was an actual, um, well, it was it was an ad in a magazine. Uh, it was actually hand drawn, I believe. Mm -hmm. Probably by the same people who make some of those Red Bull commercials. And one of the things they said, well, one of the things that you had, uh, basically, uh, it was in a bar. You had a guy you know, standing there, and a lady, a beautiful looking lady in a red dress, you know, standing there. And around them was, like, basically men's clothing, you know, hanging, uh, you know, in the, hang, hovering in midair, you know. There was no, you know, but there's no one in them, you know. It was just invisible. Their bodies were invisible. They could see you could see their clothes. And uh, the caption, I think the uh, subtitle was, uh, if you know they either a Stetson man or not a man at all, no one at all, <clears throat> you know, basically. So the, pro the 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 advertisement was saying, wear our product <clears throat> so that you, the pretty ladies, will like you. <clears throat> you know, they won't even see someone who doesn't wear our products. <clears throat> basically, what they're saying. You know, it's all to get you to get the product, and it's not real, <laughs> you know, and, and when people see that and just take that as real life, it's not cool because it causes all kinds of problems, you know, and it is like, it says everything's, there's all, you know, fear, the, talk, the way fear works is, it, it's never just, oh no, I'm going to have to do that thing once. <clears throat> It never is. It's always, I will be stuck doing this forever, <clears throat> you know. I will always have to, I will never be able to. <clears throat> That's how those fear thoughts begin, usually, you know. And to me, uh, I don't like those, those are certain things I don't like. When, they, when someone says, I, you know, if I um, stay this way, you know, basically, in, in all those documentaries, all places, if I stay, basically, stay male, I will have to always have to, or I will never have to. I'm like... Never be able to. Okay, now if the or or if they're female, I, I, I always have to, or I'll never be able to. I'm like, yeah. If the next words out of your mouth aren't, you know, if you're male, are are not, uh, I will always produce. You know, I will never be able to produce eggs, or I will always produce just produce sperm. <laughs> you know, if those are not the words that come out of your mouth, <laughs> you're saying I'll have to wear pants. I'll have to wear this color. No, you won't. <laughs> And it's wrong. I, I'll never, I will have to, you know, I can't wear, you know, I can never wear this. I'm like, uh, well, certain things. I prefer not to have a, you know, nude dress. It's just weird. But, you know, that's, that's personal preference. That's definitely, and there are, there are things out there that are not dresses, they're robes, or something like that. You know, that aren't pants, though. You know, I'm like, yeah. Did you guys know that girls can wear pants too? Right? You know that, right? <laughs> that's that's an interesting thing. How strange it is, because you see this, and I'm like, I'm like looking at this. Some some of these people, you know, some of these guys, some of the people. And I'm saying, I'll say, guys, there are some terms that you gotta be careful of. You know, when it comes to any type of gender thing. One of the things is uh, Angry Joe. He's a great YouTuber, but one of the things he says when he talks about a movie he doesn't like is it has no balls. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> uh, that does not mean he doesn't he doesn't like it because it's not male. <laughs> that does not mean it. no. What it means is that it has no. Uh, it isn't. It isn't. Doesn't isn't brave. That's not a good term to use. <laughs> that isn't a good term to use. You have to. You know, I'd rather say. I'd rather just say this thing could not stick to its guns. <laughs> you know, this thing was not a great. Did not make a choice. Did not grow up. You know, you know instead of saying I, you know, it didn't man up. <laughs> man up. No, you can't. You know, instead of saying it didn't man up, you know, and say it didn't grow up, you can say stuff like that, you know, you know. And uh, my thing is, say, say guys, that's male, you know, say people, you know, that's, you know or adult, you know, instead of man, say adult, that's both, you know. It's, it's interesting stuff, it's, you know, different vocabulary you have to work with, you know. And I agree, some things need to, some vocabulary lessons need to work, they need to change. But yeah, I'm sorry. There are certain things that are just like, yeah, I see these stereotypes. There are stereotypes, and they're saying, no, it's not stereotypes at all. I just don't like it. I'm like, and they'll turn right around and be like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go, uh, the, the boys will be like, I'm just going to go and uh, wear, wear pink, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and dresses. Because, yeah, that's what girls wear. I'm like, you know, 
you, girls can wear pants, right? And then it's like, the girls are like, I was gonna cut my hair short and wear pants. I'm like, you know, there are girls who wear their hair, who cut their hair short and wear pants, who actually identify as girls still, right? <laughs> you know, you, you know that, right? You know, so I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> that's not how it works. Okay, that's the issue, people are forgetting. Here's the deal, you know, this is something that uh, basically I figured out uh, about this whole thing. The only difference between a man and a woman is how they reproduce. <laughs> you know, that's it. Yeah. That's the only real difference. There are all kinds of other differences that are stereotypes, but it's the only real difference. Uh, do you generate sperm that is, you could be used to fertilize a woman's eggs, or do you generate eggs that you, you know, so they can be fertilized by a man's sperm? That's the only thing. Mm, you know, that's the only main issue. Here's how it goes. You know, you have uh, males have penis testicle, penis and testicles, so they can actually, you know, the testicles generate sperm. The penis puts it into the woman, <coughs> you know, into the woman's vagina, so that it can go up to the fallopian tubes, through the uterus, into the fallopian tubes, where the woman's ovary, you know, where the human ovaries will produce eggs, so they will come down through into the fallopian tube, get fertilized by the sperm, and go into the uterus, grow in there, oh, until they're big enough, <coughs> go in there, grow in that uterus, <coughs> you know, until their baby size, you know, you know, until the baby is big enough to come out to the vagina, <coughs> okay, you know, you know, that is the, that's, that's the issue, this is, this is birds and bees stuff, this is, this is, go, early education, <coughs> you know, oh my gosh, this is where he's come from, that's the only difference. The only uh, the problems, of course, there are all kinds of people, all kinds of stereotypes, all kinds of different things going on. And yes, there are certain different outfits and different things and different stuff they have to work with, especially when it comes to size and race and gender. So uh, just, just, there's certain things that we have to deal with that uh, other people don't have to deal with because of how we look, you know. But there's certain things that everyone has to deal with, and we got to work on that too. And it really takes me off when people are just like, no, oh, you know, uh, you see certain things in these documentaries. Uh, the, the dad who, right at the beginning, in, in England, the dad was saying, you know, his son wanted to be a girl. He was like, well, you know, I like to play, I like to play, I should play football with my kid, but I don't think it's going to be possible anymore. I'm like, why not? <laughs> you know, it, it, and in England, of course, football is soccer. <laughs> we call football, they, they call soccer football. <laughs> you know, we call football soccer, but uh, in America. But uh, then it's like, you see that, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I see that, I'm like, why not? Uh, can he not run anymore? <laughs> you know, can he still want to catch things and kick them? <laughs> you know, catch things and kick them? You know, no, no, boys and girls can both can play football. Also, your son is still your, your son. It's just uh, having issues with what it means to be male. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 what it means to be male is very simple. It is the deal. It, it is the deal right here. You know, again, I, because I look, even though I look like somebody, like someone, like, even though I am, physically speaking, a uh, adult black man, I don't have to act like any other adult black man, <laughs> you know? You are a adult white <laughs> female or adult white man, you know, you don't have to act like any other, or whatever, you know, you don't have to act like any other person you look like, you know, because you are an individual, that's the issue. You saw that uh, Simpsons episode, uh... Right, so the cartoons can be some cool stuff because there's some cool cartoons out there. Because there's good sto good stories, good writing, and one of those things was uh, Simpsons when they oh that guy, well, that teacher, that awesome teacher that Lisa was crushing on was saying, you know, wrote down, you are Lisa Simpson, you know, it's basically you're an individual. Oh my God. This is what, the thing. This is what separates you from everybody else. You're an individual. You know, you don't need to basically. Try to be like anyone else, soon, you know. There's some people, of course, that are awesome, and you like to be like that. You believe are awesome, and you like to be like, but you know, you are also you, though. Mm, that's the issue. And then, so I'm like, hey, mm, that's true. I am an individual. I can, you know, do whatever. You know, that's the issue. Comic book artist, ghetto engineer, ghetto engineer, and different things like that. I'm like, yeah, this stuff is, you know. Basically, some stuff I did not realize. You know, I'm sort of I'm learning about, it and it's 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 very interesting to deal with it. Oh shoot, it's already getting tangled already. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to basically make this because I uh, make some headphones because the uh, wires. Me and my mom are shampooing our our apartment, 
and room by room, and for my apartment, my room, my room to get shampooed, I have to clean out my mess and my my basically all this stuff over here. And let's see, we got this. And we are portable. We are portable. Yeah. All this stuff over here needs cleaning. And to basically do that, I need to help make sure there's nothing tangled up. I'm getting it tangled, untangled, but yeah, it's definitely going to take some work. And basically, it involves me having to make some headphones, you know, ironically, having to make some headphones so that this stuff, this wire won't be tangled up with anything else, at least so easily. You know, it's very interesting how that goes. But, you know, so yeah, it's just, it's an interesting stuff. People are going to, of course, hate on this be talking about this stuff this way, but I choose to accept it because basically in real life there will be people who hate on what you're saying, no matter what you're saying. <laughs> this is how it goes, you know, and that's one of the things about it. Things about this stuff that you gotta get, get used to. You know, if people are hating on what you say, then that's just normal stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I gotta just take it as that. You know, if there's certain things, of course, you're saying that, you know, you will, you know, there's certain issues where basically they'll be like, hey, they'll be right, but you know, so, you know, sometimes you make mistakes, but other times, you know, you're doing the right thing. That's how it goes. It, it's interesting how it works. Uh, so yeah, basically, it's yeah, interesting life, an interesting world. Uh, so let's uh, continue on. I'll see you guys next time. Turn me on YouTube, New and Art. Uh, yeah, rambling. This is a rambling series too, because I might as well ramble, talk about this stuff, because uh, it's very important to me. Yeah, so it's wedding. Uh, you know, even after what happened with uh, Donald Trump and friends, you know, yeah, I say Donald Trump and friends because Donald Trump is, in my opinion, just a guy, just one guy. He'll be in there for a maximum of eight years, and then he'll be gone. And then uh, what I'm interested in is dealing with the people who have been there, who will be there until they die. You know, the people out there that have been in there before, way before any of these modern elections that have taken place. Before Bush, before Clinton, before any of these guys, you know, and now you know they're still there, you know, still doing some stuff that they should not be doing, and we have to basically stand up to to fight against that more than anything else, you know. So I, I you know, Trump, I let Trump, uh, you know, basically going to kill anything he does, like anyone else, or certain other president we had. Before Trump, mm -hmm. I'll definitely call them out. anybody who does anything I don't like out on what they what they've been doing, you know, because I, I definitely there's some things I don't like, including this, including that stuff, which you know you see those videos I put on. I'm gonna put much more on videos. Same footage. That's gonna be cool because it's gonna be the same footage. It's gonna be the same stuff. The same footage, but it's gonna be different songs for it because why not? That's basically something to talk to people, to basically say, hey, I don't like this, <laughs> you know, this is a bad thing you just did, so yeah, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about that, so yeah, we're going to do that, uh, DeviantArt, of course, yes, my uh, scan for old HP pavilion.